Thorin previous, but now different opponents will be brave on the other side, taking that first real challenge against Redgar, but actually won out by yeah. SMB's Omen there. So a big battle to be won in the crossfire, that pinch coming towards A. It's going to be very tricky to get past as Russell is going to find Chronicle, and things aren't looking so good for Gambit here. No, and the spike not committed either way it means they still have to recover that. You can see Nats has found space, but Shados now feeling a little lonely. As SMB swarmed through, he's going to find the first, but traded out quickly, and Nats now finds himself at a 1v4. 12 seconds left, just going to look for some kills here. With that spike not committed, like I said, unfortunate, really, this round will slip through their fingers. The first come through, the second as well, but Durko closes things out. So again, brave. Looking to pile on the pressure. As Redgar, once again, he was solo in the previous round. Yeah, forced away here. We'll have to back up a little bit. It's actually, Turco going to find Love Defo it. creeping up short. And here, Gambit just sending out the feelers, the fact finders. I'll find something at least. Tados will actually. Wave there for the trade. Redgar trying to deal with this wall now. And that's actually making his way over with a spike. So, is he going to head up to heaven with this marshal? Enemy remaining. We'll find the first, and that's we already know inside that smoke. Last alive once again, and this he lands Ooh. the no scope as well. The third, yeah, yeah, that death ball approach from SMB, and the payoff is magnificent. Finding Nats, creating that space, getting that weapon to cipher on through. Keep in mind, we have Spectres galore. The rifle is in Power's hand, so this could be important. Let's see if he gets anything done with this one. Shados has found him, so instantly that's quelled. But you talk about all progress. There it is. Izzy pops the knives out, and we're already game on. And Redco sat in spawn. Now, luckily for him, the spike came too far away, and he finds Russ trying to just build back through. But Izzy and Turco, this is going to be trick. Oh. They line up. Redco, he's great for one. The second would be sublime, but he's not going to get a very, very quick plant. And that gives him... Does Redgar even consider this? What? No, he doesn't! Completely unaware. Oh my word. He had no clue that Turco went all the way towards... It's storm used, but fine with it being popped prematurely. Look at that! <gasps> the clack comes through. Defo and Shados will fall. Gambit already at a two-man disadvantage. Great work. You couldn't ask for anything more. Because again, so, uh, like being Jet, it's a little easy. You can back away. Oh, that's that's nice work again from Izzy. <laughs> so well prepared. Just stepping back whenever feeling needed. But it, you can get overwhelmed by the pistols. They can just run you down. They can kind of, you know, as I said, death ball you a little bit. It can be tricky to work around. But that Jet safely playing away with the op there. No real danger as Izzy was always able to back away and had support. We saw that Russ was instantly putting himself on the line for it. No one able to capitalize on this beautiful shot from Nats. But not expecting any less from this man. Gonna give it a good crack. Let's see what he can do. Two players still to find, and a slow creep around the back as well. Keep in mind that <laughs> Omen and Killjoy are closing in, and Nat's nose is uh, days maybe a little numbered. No more damage to be seen. SMB, you couldn't ask for a better start into this, but look how deep SMB is sitting at the back of the B site. They are super tucked in here. Yes, I think it's to actually count up what we're seeing over on A, but Chronicle. Gonna have issues. TP comes in. Redgar dips out. Doesn't see as much as he wants. Jet's now in, but we have to look towards where that omen is. Already probably is going to find Redgar, so that's the mid lurk. That little threat that was maybe building in the back line's gone. Russ is fine. Ten seconds. The spike is now under question. It's under scrutiny. Russ has done so well here. Turco shows his hand. SMB are so prepared. Everything lines up well, and the final player, be it Nats, is great. But let's see what the adjustment is from Gambit here, because there has to be something. Easy again. Hunting, and I was, uh, uh, I was about to mention it. Brave it needs to be shut down on A main because you can see that we've already talked about taking these fights on the extremities. But I, I think Gambit are just afraid right now. They're, they're, they're even Redgar kind of solo as well to take that engagement. They're not really in a position to trade either of these extremities. Yeah, where are the trades? And they're not finding value in mid on, you know, as a, as a byproduct of that. You need to find something in mid, and, and neither of them are happening. And even when they have gone mid, it's it's been either Izzy actively controlling it, or you maybe have the KJ your utility still playing a really key piece. And Izzy's not backing away no. from this. And why would he? He's seen one Sova and no other pressure. Nothing else is being put towards him. Now, this round, it is a lighter purchase, but Devo has done well to find Russ. We did put a couple of question marks with Gambit's attacking side when we were watching the games because well, Braves made very light work of that lovely control again very very surgical in approach but again this is just spectres and odds and ends so no need to scream or yell but 
I, I did look at Gambit. Is how do they find that space? How do they find the openings? I look at other teams. I think, right, well, here's your player X, Y, and Z. Hit deep. Everyone else is sitting. They've just left that KJ ult to babysit towards B. And there's a push up, and no one checks on it. Pora gets away with it. Pora gets away with a second. Gambit are being made to look silly here. SMB. I, I absolutely love that adjustment from Blaze. And since from SMB that that's gonna be that B piece coming in, but it will be the A hit. Well, that's him. Pora only one away from the lockdown potentially. Able to employ that. No, no. Russ is actually going to get slowed down by the turret. Sorry, Shados gets slowed down by the turret. And Russ going to convert with the Hunter's Fury. Defo now got to get something going with his Blade Storm, Lauren. Okay. Spike now going down. Tongue will be on their side. Sees the pixel. Ah, nothing comes from it. And now this is where the problems start to begin. SMB start to retake the sights. That's and there just... it is. Clean perfection from SMB. They don't look like they've broken a sweat no. here. No, they, they, they look so comfortable and, uh, you know what, dare I say it? With a couple more players here, normally it's been a max, I believe, two coming this oh side. Oh my god. But is he still able to isolate Shados? And that's a big indicator that this is something different here. Shados being here, there's the leaning coming in from Defo to be able to get past a couple here. But Brave leans into no the way, danger man. he thrives in it. He takes down Red Gar and Chronicle and it's Pock. It's crazy and, again, see Nats in a position here where... Yep. Over the care package soon, the t-shirts, the badges, the hats, obviously. Um, just He just hasn't had all. Looking like another quick piece and Defo going to be on to lead the charge, but Russ going to stop him at the first hurdle. Not even going to get inside. Nat falls as well. Shados as well. Russ on absolute fire right now. This is... <laughs> this is brutal to watch, Lauren. It is, and you thought the turret was going to be maybe in the hands of Killjoy, but apparently it is going to be Russ just standing there, mowing down anyone who would step through that doorway, that precipice on towards the other side, and here comes the flank from Redgar, excuse me, towards Redgar from Brave, and there it is, Turco to shut it down. Oh, <laughs> Whatever we can get done, hope for the best. Izzy again going to swing through. He's feeling himself yeah. away from the smoke that he was trying to play towards that little vision he gets underneath but he's going to re-aggress of course he does brave is living up to his name on every occasion and poor's aim is always good always so good and well the last man standing is nats who else but nats a 1v4 yeah Oy. cage triggered this is this is an absolute even gonna get spotted by red gas tp and he finds a pick yeah, is he just comfortable in the it's spray? It's going to line up perfectly for Brave! That's three! Make it a fourth. No, Shados denies. This is just a display of dominance from SMB, from individual to collective. Every single thing for them is just lining up perfectly. And, well, uh, and the lockdown, well, of course. Anything else? Cool. <laughs> just layer it on. Here comes the lockdown, and there's the double sack towards Shaw, just to make sure he could not leave the site. The fuse will come in and SMB too easily. Oh, I've got one player. He's stacked up outside it. Is he actually going to set up a crossfire with him as well? The paranoia comes through. Defo's out. The trade's actually going two for two right now. Russell respond. It's crazy and short here. There's only one player left. Brave, 50 HP, tagged by the Aldrone. Gambit might be getting the pistol round on the board. And Chronicle we will close things out. And when you look back on the stats website, you don't see a 13-0. That, that would be nice. But um, I would say, especially between a team like SMB and anyone, uh, really at this point, oh, tactical support there, but there comes across. Izzy's already in. Spectre's up close. It's a pretty even fight, and there it is. Damage side to be done, but it's just absolutely decimated. SMB take the site, and now Gambit are in all kinds of trouble. We've got to see if Nats can bring up some of that brilliance, if Shados can have some of that punch to the power that he brought just those couple of days ago, but now a 3v5. Yeah, lots to do here. Shados actually going to take some damage on the way in. Well, a lot of these close angles here, but SMB stacked up, Lauren. It's going to be so tough for them to break through on this retake. On time. That spike is sticking pretty quick. And now here we go. Redgar leans in. That's one. Needs a second. And there we go. It's actually working out. It's just Izzy. Oh my Izzy God. is enough. A long way around, maybe feeling this will end up being that piece towards B. But Shados has it in hand for now. Izzy's gone down. And now Nat's next line of defense gonna fall back a little bit there, play a little bit safer. Maybe feeling that pressure starting to mount as he is gonna be a little yeah. isolated, but he does have the support through CT. I was gonna say Shados actually gotta be careful because oh, Aura coming through will find pinch. two. The B site wide open now, other than Defo, who will find Turco. Spike and Spike down, noted, B. but 
A 3v3 nonetheless here. Left. I've got to be careful yeah, not to fall. The other two. Yeah, they've got to be so cautious about this. Bear in mind, the other two were a little bit further away now. Luckily, Chronicle has joined towards CT, but a quick play back in here. Defo wants in, he gets in. Four is going to be removed, but there's still two players. Back of sight, time in their favor. And a wandering Defo gets his head taken off. And adjust as well. That's going to relook. Brave needs that. It wasn't clean. Tries to fall away in the frenzy with the punish. And Redgar, a lovely round and a needed one for Gambit to just... Once again, stacked as four poor elsewhere. Yeah, pretty even buy as well. Oh and they're super God. close to this. SMB going to take the first as well. There's a follow. Look how absolutely <laughs> ferocious they are on the aggress. But it's going to be Shados to control. And this Quell Izzy's attempt at getting control towards heaven. But Nats is now on the case. Going to fill that void. And there's still a couple of players lingering around. Bit of info found off the back. But then look towards Ram. Turco, good work on the trade. They're still finding value. It'll be noted there. Redgar should be coming through on the rotate. Might just wait for the confirmation. But Shados got to stay alive here. He's actually going to find the third. 50 HP. Turco now faced with a 1v2 scenario. Not going to be a comfy one. Still one flash on Shados too. Shados could use it just to simply clear. Checks for that close corner. No one's there. So now kind of clearing by process of elimination. As Turco tries to find one on the playback in. Going to look for Shados first. Gets him. Heel comes in. He's got himself no a little way, bit Turco. situated. Oh, Turco so Again, super massive plays. We'll try and pressure the way of the beat. Oh. He's not he's not loving this so far, and Izzy's gonna take that opportunity to move up. He's even seen the barrel towards heaven as well. Just on those rafters, it was Shados, but still controls towards Pora. That's good work. Now there has been damage chipped away at, but it's not enough to write home about yet. Seekers go in, this is gonna confirm that everyone is here, but that wall's gonna keep them somewhat safe. Flash to follow, and now maybe the playback through. Nats can at least catch the cross here. The wall now gets eliminated. He's in a bit of trouble, but he's gonna find the first trade for Russ. This is again a round that no truly way. Gambit needs to be clean, and now this is where the problems start to show and the cracks begin to be seen. As Turco and Izzy just got chronicled to find this is a disaster clinical. in the making, Hypoc. Absolutely clinical. I see Izzy going to pop through with the showstopper here. Gets very deep. Red guard will shut him down and no follow up. Seconds left. Pretty much avoided here by Supermassive Blaze because they're all stacked up in heaven and Shados. I know. Actually, exactly. through the smoke and punished for that. The wall goes up. Defo sealed out. Yeah, but time, 15 seconds. There could still be a problem here with Redguard finding Russ and Nat's still alive at the back of the site. This isn't going to be an easy round. And there's the catch on the cross. Turco gets caught in the end. And finally... Listen, be to reset their economy. Defo actually this time will open things up. Sados walking mid... Inhale, watching towards the push through from heaven. Pora gets seen. And the utility follow up as Redguard wants to close the gap. And he does so. That's a good bit of work coming in. That's a rifle now removed. Nats finds an isolated push out from Brave. Leaving Turco and Russ really turns through everything. I think they still have a comfortable per big push behind it yet. Shot from Redgar to open things up though, and no res available. In super massive blaze, we play this out as four Redgar again. This is it. Gambit looking to get a little aggy here in mid, at least to contest this presence early on. Nat's now on the ropes. Going to shut Pora down. It will slip out now with a two-man advantage. See the adjustment here from Gambit. Happy to sit a little deeper. And this is on the back of really Viper's bit giving them some comfort on B site. Redgar now on the back of the flash. Can he get the information? But a very daring to go into astral form there. Shados luckily bails them out. And Redgar will close things out. All but Shados has been finding a little bit of that form that scared people not too long ago. Flash goes in. And again, we know that Gambit will take some fights <laughs> on this. Stackle and Nats. Yeah, actually, no theft going to be popped, but the information already gathered. Russ will deal with red card. Seekers in response here. Actually, Shadow's got to be careful inside spawn. Spike will just now cross. Have ourselves a 4v4 here. Do Gambit. I'm ahead of the curve here, ahead of the spike plant, Lauren. It's a good flash. And the flash, it looks like Nats oh wanted to. Yeah, and it's worked well. Really good push off the back of that flash. Sets a lot of players into motion, just turning the eyes away as Shados. It's not a fun scenario to be in. Spike Spikes now it. down. One to the left, one to the right, and two on the back line. Turco with the find, and SM gets the confirmation again, but they're not finding ways in. Defo still controlling it. That could have been maybe the breaking point, but no. Defo catching up poor makes this very oh, difficult. Nats. Nats 
He's in the corner. He's only going to get one. The res comes out, and now the paw comes through towards B. But keep your eyes on where Chronicle is playing. A tricky angle to clear. Going to get one spot to second on the cross. Going to fall away and wait for support. The correct call, but Shados just gets Ferrari peaked by Turco. Centaurus peaked. Just honestly, SMB peak. Look at what they're doing to them. Substantially after maybe pausing Depo off that angle. Here comes a trade out. The doggos does get caught. Shados just wants to peek in on it. Don't blame you either. Flash! <laughs> oh, just about keeps his life. I thought he might have lost it there, but he will manage to maintain. Now, they have lost that player, but they've taken, I guess, mid control. It's not the ideal exchange, but look how many players are leaning towards this B site. It is once again just Nats left to his own devices towards A. Has the support of utility, sure, but man, he's feeling a little on an island, but they are actually going to go towards the ultimate here. Terrible here. Coracle still has one snake bite. He's going to have lots to deal with here. He's going to spot the first, the second as well. The third for Chronicle. Just one man left. Russ here. And Chronicle's going to look to swing through. He's going to... They pass? They crossed each other. Oh, my God. Oh. A factor on either side here. And actually, Poor are going to walk through. Depo still lingering inside ropes. Turco's in danger. Hearing at least two cross. Tags on hey. one. Does take Shados with him, but... The trade comes out, and that flash is excellent. Russ is just setting this in motion. Another spotted Depot completely blind, but he fights out from it. One Russ has gone down, remaining. and Chronicle's got his back. It's all on Brave's hands, and this is not looking likely, but maybe a quick Five kill could it. alleviate that stress. No, Depot's got him. Has to have seen that. Just put the dog down. Finds Defo. <clears throat> he knows there's more as well. The yeah. quick flash in case anyone had made it closer, but no one's there. The wall's still towards heaven as well, so Izzy no one knows there's someone close, but oh, unfortunate. I didn't find. That could have really caught Nats in a bad spot, but Izzy's aim is still going to be true to him. Finding two, the third's going to evade. Redgar's got it. Now a bit of an extended bonus, but keep in mind this... Yeah, again, the secondary objective really just to make this costly. And Redgar actually finding Brave will do just that. Rust there to clean things up, but three kills, so... Oh, Defo! Oh, Brave. Actually... Yeah, look at that push-up. Defo just hounded him down. He was following... Plays. Look to retake mid here, and Defo still ready and waits. He's going to find another, actually. Third on the round for him, and two remain. Themselves get called off by someone lingering around, but Turco and Ross are... Uh, lessons the death. Now, look at it, though. Trying to capitalize on the back of it, and Gambit actually might be walking straight into this stack. Fast. Defo is so blind. He had absolutely really away from this hit. They have to keep I mean, the committing to this. They dropped the spike. There's the flash. There's Izzy gone, and there's Turco and Russ. Redgar and Shados are down, but there's still many players here. Poor has found Nats. That's the lurk through on Heaven. Gone, leaving just Chronicle alive, and the stack in the right place at the right time. And SMB reading it very well, controlling that lurk. And Izzy finds Chronicle in the end, and SMB... A little uncharacteristic. Ooh. Shade of Flash to follow as well, um, and now there goes Defo, and now suddenly the res is there. Turco can get his buddy back up. That's Izzy. But Poor has lost his life. Now... Where is that spike, though? A million miles away from being relevant, but a 4v3. Shadow's got to be careful here. Barry. Russ actually responds. Spike. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's all of, none of this matters right now. Nats walks through just, just a really weird round. You look at that versus the previous Turco actually ready and waiting. Defo will find. He's the first. The gap can be that filled towards Ben, so that's another player kind of filling the void. And here we go. It's going to be towards the site, but Defo's found Russ. That's pretty important. Poor has got the trade out, but Poor is still on the back lines. Oh my he God. is doing such good work for SMB. Defo's going to try and throw it. The needle is denied. Poor, huge impact this round. Is now Izzy up against Redgar, and Izzy's just going in. This is a BDP if I've ever seen it. Look at this guy. Izzy has crossed that gap, and I don't know if Redgar is going to be fully aware of how close Izzy could be. Still has the bot to hand. Izzy. Off is more than enough, Izzy. Like, Redcar's getting a lot of room to work out here. There's still the player waiting patiently on the other side. That being Pora, who was instrumental in the previous round. This time, actually adjusts well enough to claim Redgar, at least. But it's Chronicle and Shados. Huge power on this site. To see what Looking late round, it's Nats on the other side. He had the hand off the... Keyboard for a second there, but it's going to be right back on. And now timing is everything. The gun barrel shows, and he's got support. Nats and Redgar doing well to control the aggressive play out towards B. Well, actually, Nats going to find one on Russ as well. Somehow, it's worked out so perfectly for Nats in this. That poor timing on that. Four tools to deal with him, but 
Is he certainly not having as much success here? And it's really, really playing into Gambit's hands. Nat's going to be shut down as well. Again, I think the economy in terms of last few rounds, the way they've gone, won't be hurting at all. It's, I was going to say, a bigger <laughs> loss. And like I said, zoning their way into B is the plan. Let's see what SMB do with this. They have some tough left. choices to make. Flash comes in as well, going to make this tricky. It doesn't catch anyone, but Defo's going to move further forward. He'll try and make his presence noted, but he actually loses his life. Brave's done well there, so has Turco. Oh They've actually God. been able to just isolate, divide into pieces, make it more manageable, if anything. Dismantling that split. Again, it gives them a barrier. There's almost a safety net. To split these angles, either side of it, and... I mean, we talked about the... Uh, Discover this three-man stack towards B once again on the side of Supermassive Blaze. We'll have to wait and see. I've got your train. Here we go. Actually, with three of them heading towards B, yeah. Good flash. Russ needs to buy time, and he's doing Nats. just that. Oh, he's been taken down by Nats. How has he got? How has he managed this poor? And he's no finding the timing now. He can't gambit. Have just found the perfect timing to strike. Just somehow evading Poro and Russ's potential. Turco now being denied his presence to be able to catch that cross. And they're down to two. Brave and Izzy. The last standing SMB. Oh, Nats just keeps punching them down. There's now Brave left in a 1v5. Gambit picking things up off the floor, off the pieces that remain. Defo. But by now, look at the timing on this. Brave is a mile away. Redgar, I don't think he's going to be able to see it. No, and Izzy is completely caught off guard. Brave now shows Defo. his hand, but it's not clean. Defo, great work there. Fantastic impact already into this Actually, round. Actually, Chronicle coming across from showers here. Actually, that truck down nearly doing a lot of damage to Pora, but he will be able to slip through, at least for the time being. Russ alongside him, and actually this spawn rotation might get cut off as well, Lauren. You see Turco very late to the party. And he does. There it is. Yeah, Shados caught it. Great point there. And now it is just the two. Russ and Pora. Whew, not an easy place to play back in from. Still a flash for Shados too. So as soon as contact's made, he can always pop that out if they feel they need it. Look how much they've still got left in the tank after that freebie walk-up. But they did find Chronicle. But it's that final hurdle that will be that step too far. A little bit more damage, but it does not matter. Nats is there. Inside hooker. Looking to get a little aggressive here. They will stack up and play for a trade here. It's a potential for a weapon upgrade. Jados got to be careful now because there's more bodies than this. Ooh. Yeah, that's not pretty. Defo's had to fall back to this. Oh, no way. Brave finds Defo. For Gambit. Okay, if he's able to at least contest one of these points of re-entry here. I'm worried, actually. Shados is way, way split. A million miles away from He's this. He's going to come around now. Nats is in trouble. I want to see what Redguard does. When do you strike on this? Beautiful. Okay, that's it. Great timing. Really held his nerve. I was a bit worried he might leave it too late and maybe Nats could have been pressured, but no. The Great timing stuff. was really well handled. Shados comes back around in time and that could have fallen apart. You could see the seams being pulled out a little bit here by SMB and you could see it almost fraying on the edges, but no, it's costly. Sure, it's a good round for SMB in that regard, but the round will be gambits unless something unthinkable happens now. It's only done no spiraling for either side. And Izzy's got to be careful now. Glass cannon at this point, and Power's got his back already. Good pick up there towards Defo. And this is the shutdown that they needed. Isolated fights, untradeable kills with the power that Pora is bringing on these two that he's picked up. And the site's well under control. These last two players, Redgar and Chronicle, fantastic, sure, but have no step towards the site. Spike is out of hand for now. Not a huge problem, unless they find quick success and they can't capitalize and springboard off the back of it. Yeah, actually, yeah, Brave will be there to greet the unsuspecting Redgar and Chronicle now. <laughs> in 1v5. Critical areas at that point. Here, Defo with the hero rifle. We'll see if he can actually find something on the way forward for Gambit. Uh, that's a oh, slip that's up. That's huge. What? Or 11 HP. That's, this, is, this is really, really scary times now. Now, Russ has done very well, very controlled, but not controlled enough for Chronicle. Going to play out well from Showers now. The site is looking very much in control. 
Spike yet to go down, and the TP taken. That's going to be a runaway. Nats is just getting the hell out of there as much as he can. Redgar looking to lurk, but he can't catch anyone on the way out. So his position now, feeling a little out of sorts. And Nats is on an island to an extent. He has to still find value for this. They are That's in a huge. 3v3, and there's that big value. There it is. Ult comes on, and suddenly the site is looking far more controlled. That's only 28 HP, though, so he's got to be careful. A straight bullet could drop him. Now he has some reinforcements here, but is he clearing through sight? Can Gambit hold on here in this post plant? They found it's him! Watching at Straw's Poor has already made the first huge kill coming in towards Nat. Now the ult's gonna go down. Red Gar on the flank can't make it work. It's on towards Defo. Defo. The 1v1 gets Izzy! That's where you want to... This is the first try it towards Showers. Defo known for his presence here on the defensive side, but no slouch here either. Is he gonna feel the brunt of this? And Chados going to pick up where he leaves off, going to try and maybe work a little further forward. Poor is going to have to fill that gap here. And timing's going to be a key factor. Shados has got it as soon as Poor tried to walk through. These are two huge impact frags coming through as Nats is going to try and take that space towards sight. Russ, the spot a little of defo. But there's a player closer. It being Nats, it is now secured. Sight is theirs. They will get a comfortable plant as well. Planted. Turco and Brave left to try and recover something here, but in a 2v5, a solid post plant hole from Gambit. Well, not that they even given it away. Defo actually allows Brave to regress, but Shadoff responds. Turco with a response actually. Still potential to do some damage here to Gambit and their economy. They are throwing a late round usage there of a huge piece of utility actually. And Nats will come through and punish down the other. Behind that try box on site. And Defo, there it is. Yeah, big pick there. Finds it again. SMB are being worked down and worked away at very early on. I've got to draw a player in rotation here. I think Supermassive Blaze anticipating Gambit flipping towards B on the back of that first blood, but it's like they will force the issue here. Utility invested. But no push through just yet. And Turco in a tough spot to dig out. He's good for one, but Nat's traded. I really thought there could have been a follow-up to that as well. Nats, still, <laughs> look at this guy go. As soon as you put him towards the front, he is happy to lead the charge. Happy to be the first man forward. And now Russ and Brave. Where is Brave in this? Oh, they're both CT. Spike going down. I don't think they can deny this. Site control has been pretty much completely gained. You can see Brave having to clear through that CT hole just in case someone had made it that far forward. Every angle could contain a potential threat, and there's two around this corner. Nats to one side, Chronicle to the other, Chronicle gonna find that. And in their attacks and and how kind of... People. And that's the player. Be the first in here at least, the flash has come through, look at that brute force. Turco gets shut down, Brave will respond, but the bodies stack up Good and trades. actually going two for two initially. Spike down B. Yeah, Russ is still, ooh, he's playing a very dangerous game here, one on long, one close, one to Atuka. He knows where the other two are, but he can't stay alive to do anything about it, but Pora gets the call. He now knows what's in front, but now he can't even see it. Nats is still alive. The man is an absolute legend at this point. Redgar by his side. What does this Paul do? Touted as one of the best. This guy. But I don't know what you could achieve from Ooh. this. <laughs> Connecting on that second. But Nats just play. Uh, I mean, he can't jump out this window. He's going to have full vision Sorry. here. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Gotta do it. Gotta bite the bullet and down he goes. Into here so far. Alt comes down. Barrel shows he gets it. But Chronicle finds Russ. Unbelievable. And he's actually followed up towards Turco. This is unbelievable stuff. Gambit just don't seem like they can lose in some of these scenarios. Even though SMB are trying to counter this. Again though, it's all a ruse. Gambit stacked up. Two short, one showers and Chronicle will rejoin them. I think a little bit of a misread here. I think they're maybe considering they've baited out this rotation once again. But Supermassive Blaze... Cannot pull the wall over their eyes. Brave, actually. You are divided. The showers as well. Does he turn his back here? Ooh. That's the question. Defo now gives away the game. Pora's is going to note that instantly. There's the lockdown. Spike now in trouble. Brave sound nats. Red saw the timing. It has to be perfect. It has to be everything he dreams of. He can at least deny the old, but Pora stays alive. Great play, and now a one v two chronicle. A classic. Look at Izzy. And an op, but he's Look got the spike. <laughs> and you're right. 
but he, he does have a judge and now he's got himself back tucked to the back of sight lurking around look at this absolute beast in the depths waiting and chronicle has nothing to do but die and there it is smb fine it's going to allow that rotation to come in now, but look at the timing on this. They're going to have to tr still try and control some of this side. Brave is going to be put to task. It's Defo this time. But it's Pora still finding damage from Shower, still catching players on the cross. Brave tries to swing out and it gets shut down. Shados with huge value here. Huge, huge kills. As now the spike could be potentially planted. Bear in mind, it is still in the hands of Shados himself, so would have to fall away from the U-Haul control. And they just pause for a second. Chronicle tried to capitalize towards CT, but it's Russ... Who's going to find that frag and see that consideration, <laughs> that lean back, exactly. Is he this time better equipped as well? Up to hand, TP heard, it's all his, waiting patiently. No, Red Guard rips off his face. He's just diving in towards the site. He's seen another. Here's the flash. He knows they're both CT. This could be Red Guard's another. A shot. Red is all he needs. He's got it, Red Guard. Yeah, Insane. Look how peek outside. See what's there. Just going to get swept, actually. Russ and Brave find kills on the way in. Gar will respond for one before yeah, Red Gar. <sighs> yeah, only so much can be achieved through that. You're down to Defo and Chronicle on the other side trying to play back through. This is a site controlled by SMB. A deep push towards CT. Catches off Chronicle and his story is stopped pretty short. Defo dives on in, but a whole lot of players looking his way. It's not going to go so well as Turco's going to find him and SMB do exactly a... <laughs> it's Nats for the judge inside. This he already slipped through, though. That might catch Nats off guard could we've seen the value of this but <gasps> timing's everything does he wait does he thread the needle oh <gasps> what a weird weird reveal he's still got izzy but brave was behind him and the timing on this was just so baffling oh right, gambit gives themselves a man advantage in this round you take those i guess with that weaponry indeed but two specters of andal still an option for us to do more damage here but he's gonna shut down by here Oh. oh no! Oh. <laughs> the spectre's not kind sometimes, it truly isn't. Poor, uh, such a good aimer, but not going to get a chance for a shade off with a good catch there in the end. And it Who does behold, Lauren? This time, that's see Red Guard falls immediately, They've yeah. done well. Yeah, that's a huge pick towards CT, but they don't expect Shados Nats, to take the man. TP, but there's still Nats, and Nats refuses to let Killer wait patiently for Brave on the other side. Anyone who dares to walk through, you've got maybe the jiggle peek from the site. Barrel shows it's Nats again. That's going to be just Nats dominating this round. Finally taken down by Turco, but the impact has been done. Okay, it looked like he was considering the reds, and now definitely. Oh. Yo, Defo and Shados. Turco and Russ on the other side, and Seeker's invested here. Seekers. He's got to recover that spike, though. 30 seconds left. left. Player's life here. Give them a fighting chance on this retake. No utility on the side of Turco. Two flashes for Russ. Russ could be integral. He doesn't get the chance to use it. Defo no swings before. Way. And now Russ is in danger. Shit. Miles on the face. Seemingly man. free Oof. first blood, right? Uh, the double satchel up. Yes. Clean engagement with the judge in lamps. The response immediately, Nats denies all of that space. On the other side, Turco playing up on Long. The spam comes in. Red Guard's got one. That's poor gone. Now all eyes turn towards Long. I see actually looking to re-engage on the back of that. And Nats will shut him down. Man advantage now for Gambit. Another there. Defo finds one. Turco responds. That's it with two of his own. Makes this doable here for Supermassive Blades again. Where is Nats off to? He could have stuck around towards Hooker. He's decided to go towards Long. He's going all the way towards They're literally eight. flipping back here to... Is he baiting the TP sound? Oh my god. Is he oh my the god. Bug? If, 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 if they've just galaxy brained baiting the TP sound to allow Shados to get a bit of a surprise oh through from God. CT, that is actually nuts. That, that could be it. I'm <laughs> going to just carry on like it wasn't, but you know what? You think about that one because now we've got Izzy in a 1v2. Full HP but blinded. Second flash to follow and they're closing in. And you there it is. Shados me. to close. It comes through. Might just be... Yeah, they're going to force their way all the way through to A-Link. Chronicle got to back away and respect this. Both of his teammates have pushed all the way through oh, to A-Lobby, Lauren. They're chasing so deep on this as well. They've given away that B site and actually it's worked perfectly. Catching Shados in the back is, is more than you could have dreamed of. Now they get free run of things. Now, I guess the only downside is they may lose a little track of Gambit in this. As, uh, I hope we can get those pictures switched around for you. 
But other than that, it's just the old switcheroo. I, I can see why people are confused. You've got the attacking side basically like they're on defense right now, but the spike is going down on B. So now Nats spike is the closest player. player to this. Going to peek his head through. Going to find one. Looks for the follow-up. A quick left. reaction coming in, but he does have Defo by his side. But that omen, it's brave. What? Suddenly making his big debut, and no one's Wait, even looking at him. What? what has just gone on? Gambit just quickly got two kills. Brave's made a meal of it. And how has this turned around? Russ is now in a 1v3, and I do not know what has just happened. This is completely flipped on its head and Russ is called upon. That's going to get to halfway. I don't think he can stop it going that far. Nats! What a play again! So they're responding accordingly. What? SMB gonna... Ooh, actually, lean. What, what is going on? Even Red Guard's a little baffled by it, and I don't blame him. That's just so aggressive, but it's worked out at least for the first pick. But now it's that next step that's a tricky one. Still two players here in a decent enough crossfire. Shados, two flashes still to hand if he feels he has the timing to whip one out. I don't know if he does, but he's going to isolate Russ comfortably. No trade comes in. Defo wants to swing on the flash. Spots one towards Sue, but now there's problems for Shados. Maybe not. He's got Chronicle by his side, so there's no problems to be found. And there it is. Shados keeps his red guard still. Posted towards long. Chronicle gets a lot of attention in middle, taking a big chunk of damage as well, down to 30 here. Molly in the smoke to try and keep control. Calls Nats over, and he's playing so close to this. Brave has found red guard, so this could open up a potentially. We'll see if they lean into this quickly, and it looks like they might be. Yeah, look at this straight away, though. Nats is so Nats quick. Nats is so quickly yeah. on the flank, So quick. Dude, he's the reading this. Gone. He has just... He's just got the cheat code, right? He has literally been given that little that little booklet you used to be able to get for your games back in the day. Shados with a freebie towards Izzy, and now sees some more. Chronicle, he's still alive, he's still kicking, he's still got pressure from Long, but he's holding his nerve, and look at Nats, Nats' position! Man. They have to re-account for this, and Nats! The flank is so good! Gavin! The rest coming up, Izzy, good connection, finds Red Guard, but there's a shutdown, there's a reply. It's so swift and it's so decisive. Four quick kills and this entire hit that had a little bit of something building behind it has been quelled. And there's Chronicle to catch the final player. Being it just keeps them guessing. Brave actually going to open up here. That's the first operator purchase actually on the side of Red Guard. Nats is walking long. He, do he feels like nothing can stop him right now. He's going to be able to get in between them, but he does get a fight. This time, Turco's caught him. The timing has finally been caught off. He's finally got a grip on it. The net has been cast. They've managed to catch two. Big entry work from SMB, and this is exactly what the doctor ordered. But they won't get an easy step towards the site, at least. That's going to be Chronicle to deny that. But they have options elsewhere. You can already see that lean towards this is gonna C. Get up here. The fact that none of these Seekers went towards A. No other presence shown. Yep. So you're ready. Going to hit this rotation. SMB have managed to get through, actually. No damage going to be done on the way through, and the wall actually going to take a little bit of chip damage from the Seekers, but still hold off Connector for the time being. Yeah, between Izzy and Turco, good crossfire here. That's the first. Turco's going to claim that, but there was always Izzy next line if needed. But Chados has found him, but it's effective trades with favorable numbers for SMB, and there it is. He makes it out of there. Now... I don't know what pitch you're putting together if you SMB, but that is a little bit of the util come through. So he knows the intention. Wall goes up. Shados gets called in. They now know where he's at, but Nats can't capitalize on He wants to try and get that to maybe deny that spike plant, but he couldn't quite make it in time. But still through. Oh, he leans straight oh my through. God. The man's feeling himself. He's so aggressive in this. But there's Izzy finding Red Guard. That's one up removed. Now there is still one more on Defo, but this should be SMB. They're in good post plants. You're going to have that KJ ult ticking away as well. Going to force Gambit back. This one looks like it's a bit of a write off here. Lovely lean in. Great response as well they maybe felt out those two ops maybe got the information or just an inkling but that b piece was the perfect response oh we'll find a consolation in the form of rust but expect them to hold on to weaponry here for potentially will survive for super massive plays three <laughs> nobody else again this is fine to give one away there i guess they're trying to okay no. brave will oh. actually gonna get away with a freebie yeah that's a, that's a one you're gonna take every day of the week now he can fall away no one there to trade either smb just have to suffer that initial loss turco has the res get a tricky spot to get it but with gambit reverting back i think they're happy to give that one up at least in potential actually for shados to flash out if there aren't enough reinforcements around this res well he's gonna try and nade it the nade could be perfectly timed no way Oh my god, Defo. Oh. Pulling too much attention. Bear in mind, we also have the push-up from Chronicle over towards A. 
So now the CP comes in. They are here at the right time. Nats is going to get himself actually in a really curious position. Red Guard's moved up. It's Nats to find no Brave. Way. That's a scary kill. And Nats is going to close the gap or he's going to try to. This is incredible work for the man. Just isolating players everywhere. making A lot of teams do, but Red Guard. Okay. Oh, dear. Feeling himself at least. <laughs> Not this time. Will get shut down. Looks like again it. Another hit and run attempt onto B site. Now. I wonder what the difference maker may be this time. Nothing can really deny the spike plant. It's the playback in I'm looking at from potentially Nats here and Shados. Nats going through spawn side. Shados working through garage. He's only going to find one here. Izzy gets a great trade on it. So it's a number advantage working in favor of SMB and they could do with a bit of that. Chronic Flow going to slowly creep forward. He finds Brave. He looks for the fog. Sprays him wildly. Can't connect it through the wall. Nats still trying to be a presence here. Still trying to find something. No Spots out one. Gets down one. Death have got Izzy. No Wait, way. There's no where he is. There's no more burst to play with. Nats again has Done it. That was noted on that flash for the final. I don't blame you. It's a good game. They are the real deal. Is he got to be careful if he's solo? No, they're gonna stack up here. Chronicle with it all to do. He actually hears it. No way. Spike <gasps> down. Huh? Oh, Alt. Gets the gun out in time as well. Red guard catches Izzy trying to make his way out of the danger, and Chronicle oh. actually gets away with his life. I do not understand. Poorer though. Read it well. That's Nats now gone. Can they get back in Spike coming up long? He's living oh. in between borrowed time, but no. Turco considers it really well. Really well maintained. The thought process alone is perfect. And now the Spike plant, SMB, have somehow turned this back in their potential favor. Again, one smoke, the Molly. I think a dash and one smoke on the side of Redgar as well. So expect them to still go for this. Here. They're trying to smoke off and get onto site here, and we'll actually drop through. Turret gonna spy out one. Chronicle finds two though. Turco will respond. One more left! Chronicle with four, Lauren! How? How do they keep getting away with this on retake? Now Defo looking to get aggressive towards long, actually noted by Turco. Nicely timed there, and Izzy will find a second, so. Gambit, a little overzealous at least in the early round here. If it can be recovered, because Nats is gonna find one. Russ is noted. Will respond actually. With 2v4 presented, Redgar and Nats, but left to do. <laughs> One enemy oh dear, yeah, that's been spotted. Izzy saw that from the back. Already for Gambit coming across to defend him. Redgar opens up, Chronicle finds the second. <laughs> Throwing a few more shots inside the smoke here, and SMB left to try and recover this. This is an absolute <laughs> dismantling. And all find out already. Gambit going to be going, looks like an all-in piece towards A. No real sitting back on this, but a couple of players present. One being Izzy. Good start for SMB. Finding Nats is a great beginning. And there's the reply, though. And uh, Russ is looking a little lonely. Defo just shoves him in his grave. And now somehow it's a 3v... It's a 3v2. How do they keep doing this? Bear in mind. Turco and Pora, man. You, you, you can't be happy about it now. Oh, the dynamic duo themselves. Try and wall their way on. Try and isolate this player on hell, actually. Uh, no way, Tucker okay. still takes the headshot on the way in, but the heel comes through. Pora finds one, Shados responds. It's just Pora left now, Shados. Three on. Good, the plant does well. Defo actually going uh, through. Okay. Pora will shut down that nonsense, but what is that from Red Guard? <gasps> he gets two in response. That's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Redgar should not be able to get away with that. The timing cannot have been better. A reload here and there and surprise on the other side. Chronicle finds Izzy. And tragedy is about to hit. This is going to be 12. I do not see a way for Russ. And Supermassive Blaze are not going to have an awful lot to throw at this round. I have to take a quick look at the ults, but the way these have gone out, two rounds where four survive. I don't think the progress is going to be great. No, Izzy not... Uh, two. The last go of things for SMB and the final hurdle for Gambit. Brave on the other side having to deal with the amount of pressure. And of course, it's Nass to get things started. Redgar as well towards Brave. We're down to three to try and deny it. Gambit on the verge of walking away in that first position. That first spot, Nats again, just coming alive. <laughs> enjoying himself, just running rampage through SMB as Russ is your last man alive. As Gambit now moments away and there it is.